I'm in Tianjin, the neighboring city of Beijing, for the annual meeting of the new champions of the World Economic Forum, also known as the Summer Davos. This year, the three-day-long event is themed on shaping innovative societies in the fourth industrial revolution. The Summer Davos is hosting over 2,000 guests from over 100 different countries, making this year's event the largest one yet. So let's go and take a look and see how China is shaping its innovative future. After a year of research, the World Economic Forum announced nine lighthouse manufacturers from across the world, recognizing their outstanding performance in applying the fourth industrial revolution technology to achieve modernization of production. Three Chinese companies were selected because the performance of these Chinese lighthouses is 20% to 50% higher than that of ordinary factories, which creates a competitive edge. The companies are focusing on scale development and agility, setting a new benchmark for manufacturing. Um, in terms of um, like technologies that are either being built or innovated on, like we've certainly seen it, for example, with blockchain. Um, if you think about the top markets for blockchain, China is clearly like in the top three. So um, we've certainly seen that from partnering with uh, exchanges that are um, kind of China-based and, and seeing the demand for that type of education. So I, I expect that to continue, whether it's blockchain or AI or um, you know, maybe on the more frontier technology industrial side. I see here, and this is very obvious, a young generation which understand very well the benefits of entrepreneurship. I see a government which also understand the benefit of entrepreneurship, and I see large companies which understand the benefit of entrepreneurship. So when the individual, the large, the large companies, the financial institution and the government understand it, you are just going to see more and more of it. I definitely see China being in the forefront of a lot of this innovation because a lot of the, uh, the, the technology is being made here and also a lot of the developers are going to be based here. China is edging ever closer towards an AI-centered future. Take this VR tree experience for example. In just a few minutes, it takes you through the entire lifespan of one of Mother Nature's most important creations. Moreover, it helps mankind better understand his biggest challenges. Outside the Summer Davos at a Tianjin-based science and technology park, a young group of entrepreneurs called eFi Technology have taken the world's smallest helicopter and replaced one of its heavy components, the Hefty Pilot, with a small computing processor, making it cheaper, safer, lighter and smarter than ever before. In the context of the fourth industrial revolution, FE Tech has grown from a few people to around 100 people in four years. In Tianjin Economic Technological Development Area, more policy support will be given to high-tech startups and more efforts will be made on the development of AI, intelligent manufacturing and other areas. The Tianjin government has provided a greater convenience for the cooperative land use and the next year will move to a 10,000 square meters of this area and it's all free. Yeah and, uh, yeah, and the government will also give us a considerable support for the tax tension and the talents. In the future, we will rely on the artificial intelligence to keep uh, our innovation in the field of navigation. Back to the forum, panel discussions and cross-conversations on topics including innovation and made with China are heated. To support ongoing fourth industrial revolution, World Economic Forum founder Klaus Schwab said the China proposed Belt and Road Initiative could be helpful. And with the PRI initiative, uh, we create particularly connectivity in terms of infrastructure. We need uh, rail, rail uh, connections, we need um, particularly also connections to support um, the fourth industrial revolution, which means we need the infrastructure for broadband and, and so on. 
even though the vast majority of manufacturing jobs are expected to be monopolized by machines by the year 2025. Advanced technology is set to create over 58 million jobs over the next five years, giving mankind an opportunity to shape his own destiny as he moves into the new era.